Let's take a look at ARCHICAD from the standpoint of an electrical engineer. We're going to be using the Electrical Engineering BIM Scorecard to evaluate ARCHICAD. It's a series of 10 yes or no questions you can use to quickly evaluate BIM software for your use as an electrical engineer. ARCHICAD bills itself as the oldest BIM software. It's been around since the late 80s. It hasn't been terribly popular with engineers in that time. Let's take a look and see if it's something that we could use as electrical engineers. Pulling up their website, their tagline is BIM by architects for architects. Not really sure that the problem with BIM in our industry is that there's not enough of an emphasis on architects and what they need, but that's what they're selling. That tagline doesn't really bode well for engineers, but let's dig deeper and see what they have for us. The first two questions are, does engineering exist and does MEP exist? They list a built-in MEP modeler on their webpage. So it doesn't specifically call out engineering, but it does call out MEP. So that counts as a yes for those first two questions. Opening up that page, it's not terribly promising from the beginning. The opening paragraph states that it is becoming more usual for engineers to take part in the design process and work with architects starting from the initial stages of the project. That's a pretty low view of engineers. I'm not really sure what they thought we were doing before, if they thought we just weren't involved in the design process, if they're trying to say we're involved more at the beginning now, as if we just kind of showed up magically at the end previously. Not really sure what they're trying to get at with that. The next question on the scorecard is, does electrical exist? The idea behind this question is we want to see if electrical is a separate concept from MEP. ARCHICAD doesn't list electrical separately at any point. Everything on the website and in the UI lists MEP. The closest they get is that they do break out ductwork and pipework and cabling. So if you squint closely, you can kind of see electrical in there and the different types of things they have, but it's not really called out explicitly. So maybe it could be a three, maybe not. Let's take a look at the next question. We can maybe get some clarity there. Next question is, can you insert electrical devices? And the answer to this question is no. There's no mention of light fixtures or receptacles, all the stuff that you would need to actually put together a construction document. So it's clearly not a four. Maybe it's a three, maybe it's a two, we can call it two and a half. That doesn't meet the minimum threshold of a four to be something that you could replace AutoCAD with. So ARCHICAD is a package that electrical engineers can continue to safely ignore. If you are working with an architect who's using ARCHICAD, they'll need to export their files and then you're gonna do your work either in AutoCAD or in Revit like you happened in the past.